So I mentioned this nonce, this number used once, used in the ECDSA signature system. Well, it turns out it can be quite problematic to use such a construction. And you will see why. So, the ECDSA signing, we have this nonce, right? The number used once, because we need a fresh number every time we compute a signature. Well, what could happen if we maybe reuse such a number? Well, imagine we have two different signatures that use the same number k for two different messages. So we have the first signature with r0 and s0, and the second signature with r1 and s1. And since we use the same k, um, here, r0 and r0, r1 are actually the same but S1 and S0 are not. So, if we subtract S1 from S0, we actually get, you can see here, we subtract them, K is equivalent, we get the inverse of K, well, these cancel out here because they're identical, the inverse of k times e0 minus e1. So if we're an attacker and we observe those two signatures, we can actually just divide like this s. We can actually just divide and then use the inverse. So we can divide e0 minus e1 by S0 minus S1. Now, dividing of course means taking the multiplicative inverse in the underlying field. So, E was the hash of the message. The message is publicly known, right? Because it was just signed and sent over in channel. And so, just by observing publicly known values, you can actually compute the random nonce k. Is that problematic? Well, that's quite problematic because in this equation here, the secret key is used, right? So if we recover k, we can actually compute the secret key d. So, just by reusing a uh, nonce once, so just by having 1k value being used more than one time, an attacker can actually directly recover the long-term private key, which makes this system quite fragile, because this has already happened in reality. This is, for example, how the code signing of the PlayStation 3 was broken by hackers in order to pirate and in order to flash their own code onto the PlayStation. And also the most popular Bitcoin wallet for Android had this exact, exact same vulnerabilities. So the Bitcoin private key was actually leaked via signatures. So this is quite problematic because, of course, it's a long-term key. You use this key in principle for a very long time and if somebody just computes the private key, you're pretty much screwed. So ECDSA in that regard is somewhat fragile.